One of the very oldest combos in Clash Royale is Hogmanay Pekka. Today we'll be seeing if we can still win with it on top ladder. Yo, what's going on guys? Today, we'll be playing one of my favorite decks of all time. I feel like this deck does sometimes have bad metas, but no matter what, you can pretty much always play it. It's pretty much always viable if you play well enough with it. It's not the easiest deck ever to play, but once you get the hang of it, you can definitely do pretty well. Apparently this guy said he beat us already, but <laughs> not yet. Hopefully we can actually beat him. I know this guy plays a lot of giants, so I think it will be giant here, which should be a fine matchup. Oh, he has Skeleton King. Wait, he might have E-Golem. Oh, no. We actually really don't have too much for E-Golem in this deck, I guess besides the Bomber and, I mean, Princess is kind of nice too. Mini Pekka's not the worst ever against E-Golem, but really not too good. Alright, well, we have a good start so far, so that's a good thing. We do have Rocket too, but I feel like Rocket really isn't that good against E-Golem anymore, like it used to be. Oh yeah guys, I've officially been uploading videos every day without missing a single day for I think about 30 days so far. Pretty happy with that because in the past I pretty much always missed a video every week or two, but this is one of the first times in a long time that I haven't missed a video for a whole month. Yeah, there's the e-golem. Alright, we're just gonna have to try to either get a ton of value out of our bomber or out of our princess. It's just gonna depend which one he tries to go for the arrows on. Oh, and guys, I think I'll make a second channel video very soon. I knew I said I would make a second channel video a while ago, and I didn't, but I will for real this time, guys, so be on the lookout sometime in the next few days, hopefully. At least sometime soon. Oh, no, we're in trouble. Dude, we're so dead. What do we do? <laughs> the wizard knockback is, a, is so insane, man. It doesn't even make sense. Okay, gonna try to ice school him. Oh, it's not gonna push it off. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, kind of a wasted Skeleton King by him at least, but we still don't really have too much to defend it. Man, what a bad start. Just gonna go for that Bomber here. Oh no! Oh no, this is not looking good. Okay, he wasted the Rage on nothing, perfect. So our bats should hopefully take out the Night Witch mostly. I'm gonna Ice Golem too. Dang, our bats got evaporated. <laughs> this is not looking too good. The issue here is that he has both the rage and arrows normally your opponent will have only one way to take out either the princess or bats but this guy has both ways to kill both things i'm just gonna go for the hog rider here to tank and then log this wizard away nice beautiful log i'm gonna rock it here as well wait guys we have a good chance still we actually have a good chance does that splash oh it doesn't okay we just defend here if we defend here i think we actually win i think this guy just choked somehow yeah i think we got it Nice! Way too late on the rage by him. I'm just gonna rock it and he has no way to take our tower in time. Man, what a nice win against E-Golem. Right after a tough first match, I had one of the most intense games ever against the card that brings terror to anyone in mid ladder. Alright, we're up against Mukbait. This might be a Mukbang YouTuber. <laughs> I don't even know exactly what Mukbangs are, but I think it's something where they just eat a bunch of food at once. I know there's a lot of YouTubers doing that kind of stuff. I feel like they become super unhealthy usually though. This should be a nice bridge princess here. We do have our bomber protecting it in case he tries to go for any swarm. Oh, he actually does have Mega Knight. <laughs> I feel like half the time people lie in their names about what deck they're playing. Just gonna bomber then ice golem. We have to ice golem this side. We can't kite it because we need the bats to die. Oh, the mini P.E.K.K.A. got nice damage. What a beautiful ice golem too. Alright, pretty good start. And guys, I was talking about my second channel earlier. I do have a second channel called Extra EN77, for those of you who don't know. I do stream there every day, pretty much, and I will start uploading some videos here and there as well. So make sure to subscribe to that channel. Alright, I don't want to waste the log here, so I'm just going to go for the princess. I feel like we need the log for so many things in this matchup, so we could get punished really easily if we don't have it in cycle. We do have our Evo Bomber, which also could be pretty nice to get a nice lineup on something. Okay, he does go for the Mega Knight. I'm going to go for the bats way up high here because the Skeleton Barrel is going to move forward, so I think the death damage won't really kill most of the bats, hopefully. Have to Ice School him here once again. Alright, this could be bad. Oh, this is so bad. We have to let that jump and then just mini P.E.K.K.A. late. Going to be a lot of damage, but at least we survive. We do have our Evo Bats up next, which could be maybe pretty nice because he wasted the arrows already. Okay, guys, I'm gonna Hog Rider. I know he's gonna Goblin Gang, so we have to get ready with our log here. Yeah, I'm just gonna log here. And then he has absolutely nothing for Armony Pekka. Wait, guys, he's in big trouble. He's actually... He actually has nothing. 
Tower down with the mini P.E.K.K.A. Okay, I know he has bats in cycle, Evo bats. Yeah, so I'm going to Princess here. And then Balmer late. We're going to take a lot of damage, but it shouldn't be tower down or anything. Alright, well, not a bad spot. Okay, we cannot defend those. Just have to go in and try to apply some pressure. Try to get a nice lead on the second tower. We just cannot really stop Evo Wallbreakers without overspending quite a bit. Guys, these Evo bats are going to do so much work. I'm just going to keep pressuring here with the mini P.E.K.K.A. and Bomber in the pocket. This could be good. Oh, he does Mega Knight. Okay. Still a decent amount of damage onto the Mega Knight, so I'll take it. I'm just going to Bats here then. Princess. We can log this away. Oh, maybe I didn't need the log. Man, that's a lot of Wallbreakers damage. Not looking too good, but not too bad either. I feel like we still have a good chance. I'm going to Evo Bomber in case he plays something. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, nice princess. Nice princess. Still killing the bats. Okay, our princess kind of just saved us. Princess Peach from Mario. <laughs> Alright. We could keep on pressuring. No reason not to. He doesn't have the elixir for a Mega Knight. Okay, we just have to go for a log here on everything. Oh no, he has a big counter push. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh nice, the bat should kill the wall breakers. How? How did that just connect? That doesn't even make sense. I think that's only going to get one hit. Okay, we need to rocket log. Oh, I don't know if we're going to win in time. No, I don't know if we're going to win in time. Oh, we lost. Oh, we won! Let's go! I was starting to doubt the ability of the deck after only having tough matches, but then this happened. There's a mini P.E.K.K.A. right here, so I'm going to give you a stack of pancakes and he's going to start chasing you unless you like this video and subscribe to the channel. Oh no, I'm pretty sure this guy runs a hard counter to any hog deck, but I could be wrong. I feel like I faced him sometime recently. Yeah, he has the barbs, that's already not a great sign, but at least the bomber is very good against them. Especially the Evo bomber, I feel like is so nice because then you can just line up off the barbs and get so much tower damage. I'm gonna Ice Golem Hog, he has no barbs in cycle, so this should be pretty nice here. I'm pretty sure he's running a Golem deck, but I could be wrong. I guess either Golem or Giant, probably. I mean, super good start, but it doesn't really matter too much, since he's probably playing a heavy beatdown deck of some kind. I don't know why he has Archer Queen, though. It's kind of weird to see that in beatdown these days. I remember Golem and Lava Hound used to have Archer Queen right when it was released. Okay, this guy still does have Archer Queen in a Golem deck. Kind of interestingly. Man, this guy's playing so aggressive, he's not even responding to our princess, but the Night Witch Bats will kill it, I guess. We could be in a little bit of trouble right now, guys. We'll see, though. Mini P.E.K.K.A. is going to do a super good job, I'm sure, but the Night Witch Bats are going to be super annoying. At least the Ice Golem will deal with them a little bit. We can Bats up high, try to hopefully take this out. But we actually might be fine. Wait, we're actually fine? I have no idea how we just defended. <laughs> I thought we just would not be able to. By the way, guys, you can always run the Fire Spirit over Bomber if you don't have two Evo slots. That definitely does work as well. Evo Ice Spirit works too if you don't have Evo Bomber unlocked. I'll just go for the Bomber here on this side because I do want to have our Bomber to maybe protect a Princess here. Yeah, I'm just going to go for the Bridge Princess and the Bomber will protect against whatever he plays onto it. I mean, I'll take it. Four elixir out of him, and we do get one princess hit on the tower. Alright, he's probably gonna golem soon, I feel like, so I'm just gonna go all in here with the mini P.E.K.K.A. Ice Golem and then Hog Rider too. I mean, honestly, this kind of works. Yes, he has mini P.E.K.K.A. and barbs. This man does not like Hog Rider, but we're still somehow destroying him. <laughs> I'm not really sure how. Doesn't really make much sense. <laughs> nice Evo Bomber lineup on the barbs. Even if they arrows it, it still takes out a lot of the barbs before they can actually get rid of it. We could just go in once again. You never have to be afraid of playing aggressive mini P.E.K.K.A.s especially against stuff like Golem once you hit double elixir. Even in single elixir you sometimes can get away with it. But especially in double you can always get away with it because you cycle back to their mini P.E.K.K.A. so quickly by the time you need it for the Golem. Yeah, this man has zapped for the bats, arrows for the princess and so many counters to our hog rider. But you can see he still struggles to really do much here at all. I think we just won. Just gonna mini P.E.K.K.A. up high. Yeah, easy win. I was starting to gain confidence with the deck. I felt better than ever with it, but then I faced something that was very unexpected. 
As for starting plays with this deck, you can pretty much cycle anything you want first play except Mini P.E.K.K.A. or Rocket, unless you play them reactively, like a Mini P.E.K.K.A. against a Hog Rider. I'll bridge Princess here, we have our Bomber helping us out a little bit too. Okay, Ewis could mean P.E.K.K.A. Oh no, it's Sparky for sure. Okay, this could be interesting. I'm not actually sure how this matchup is. I know automatically when you have Rocket, everyone thinks you hard counter Sparky, but I feel like this could actually be a little bit rough because stuff like the E-Barbs are going to be so annoying for us. He doesn't even really have to play his Sparky and it could still be pretty rough for us. When you have Rocket, usually the Sparky player just plays it more like a giant beatdown deck rather than actually playing their Sparky. I mean, this guy probably has Goblin Giant. We'll see though, could still be just a normal giant Sparky deck. We're just going to have to be really careful to not overcommit. I'll Hog Rider here because he has no E-Barbs, but when they do have E-Barbs in cycle, you do have to be a lot more careful with what you do. Kind of a wasted baseball tiny by him. We're off to a pretty good start already. Just going to bats here for this. Oh no, that's going to be some damage. Man, that's a lot of damage. We're already down in damage somehow. We just have to go for the Bridge Princess, try to get some damage back, hopefully. Okay, I'm pretty sure he has Goblin Giant. We do have Mini P.E.K.K.A., which will counter it pretty well, but our defense could become really dicey at times. Oh, nice! Let's go! <laughs> I feel like nobody really expects this deck anymore, so they don't really realize that you have Rocket until you play it. Free tower damage, that's like a free... almost 600 damage. Man, it's kind of crazy that level 15 Rocket right now deals way less damage to Crown Towers than level 13 Rocket used to deal a few years back. I think a level 13 Rocket used to deal like 710 damage to Crown Towers, and now a level 15 Rocket does like 541 or something. 542. Pretty sure 541. I'm just gonna bats up high. He wasted the zap. He does have rage too, though, but still should be fine, I think. Oh no, actually, we might take some damage. But not too much. Just gonna go for the Hog Rider Ice Golem. His cycle is once again kind of bad, so it might be at least a little something, hopefully. He's going to have to respond to our princess, but he might just try to make a big push here on the right side. There's the evil goblin giant. Okay, guys, here's the issue. It's not even about the spark yet. I feel like just the evil goblin giant, what are we supposed to do about it? And these e-barbs here, we have to kite everything and try to just somehow buy ourselves a little bit of time. Oh, no. This will be so much damage. Wait, how did I just not lose my tower? <laughs> I thought my tower was just about to fall. We somehow just defended. But you can see this matchup is way harder than it looks. Even though we have Rocket for a Sparky. It's not about the Sparky, really. Oh, no damage. Look at our Princess on the left side. It's actually getting really nice damage. Just gonna Hog Rider. Uh, his cycle is once again pretty bad. I mean, the best thing for us is that I feel like we keep on outcycling him over and over. Wait, this could be almost good game. Okay, not quite yet. We need one more Hog hit still. And then a Rocket to take it out. I don't know about this Goblin Giant for him. I don't think it's going to work out too well, but we'll see about that. Oh, the Heal Tiny does connect. I'm just going to Bomber to sacrifice it. We have to Princess. Oh no, these E-Barbs could be kind of bad, but hopefully they go to the Mini P.E.K.K.A. Okay, yeah, they are going to the Mini P.E.K.K.A. Can he stop our Hog Rider? I don't think he can. Okay, guys, we need to just get a Rocket very quickly before this stuff kills our tower. I think we got it. There, there's no chance he's taking our tower in time. Easy win. I thought I was doing good, but then I ran into the most wild card combination possible that completely caught me off guard. Apparently this guy thinks he has a better tribe than me, but I don't think so. Actually, my tribe used to have a name, but then for some reason our name got deleted and they just put our clan tag as our name instead. I have no idea why. I'm pretty sure our clan name was not against terms of service or anything like that, so I'm not really sure why they did that. I don't really think it was inappropriate either. It was an interesting word, but it's not really inappropriate necessarily okay i'm pretty sure this guy has that really aggressive yeah recruits spam deck which can be super annoying if you don't have the right counters to it i feel like it used to be a pretty easy matchup for me with most of my decks but nowadays i seem to get countered by it a lot of the time as far as right now i'm not really sure how this will go i haven't played this matchup in a long time so i don't know if we counter or if he counters but i feel like we have a good chance with our bomber and stuff like that especially I'll take the King Tower activation, really going to help us out quite a lot in this matchup. I don't really see him stopping our Hog Rider too well here. He has no building or anything, so he's, he's going to always have to take some damage. 
Okay, not the best lawgiver, but at least we do clip a couple recruits right there. We have to take some damage here. When you, when you have this deck, you can't always defend every little thing. It is a cycle deck, but it's not as quick as like 2.6, for example. You don't always have a little cheap card to distract every single thing. Sometimes you just have to accept that you're going to take a tiny bit of damage. Oh, Evo Bomber here. Then we can also go for the Hog Rider with this. This could be super good. Hog will just run away <laughs> from the Mighty Miner. And he does have to deal with our Princess still as well, which is great. Super nice damage. Why does he have Hog Rider? Why does this man have Hog Rider for? Why is a man running Hog Rider? Recruits. Bait. What is this? No, the Firecracker. You're actually joking. We can't stop that. Why does a man have Hog Rider Recruits? <laughs> what does it take to make a man start running Hog Rider Recruits? I'm going to Hog Rider Bomber here, Bomber to kill whatever Swarm he plays. Hopefully it splashes the tower. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. Log will take out everything. Okay, we're still in this game for sure. I don't know if one-to-one -one will make this game a little bit harder for us right now. But we'll see. A little bit of damage for him, but Evil Wallbreakers aren't as scary as they used to be. I'm going to pre-log here. Yes, perfect. Right on the Riley's faces. Wait, this is so good actually. I think we're still going to hopefully win. Unless he pulls something crazy, which could happen still. But no, I think we just go for the Ice Golem Hog Rider. He can't stop it. And then we just defend for a couple seconds and we should get the win here. Man, what a crazy deck by this guy. I don't know why these recruits players keep on coming up with more and more crazy things recently. It's kind of weird. I'll take it. I wanted to test my luck to see if I could still keep winning. But then I ran into one of the hardest possible counters for Hog Rider. We're up against Aurora Borealis. I think this guy's a German player. He does play a decent amount of Hog Rider as well. I heard some people saying that this guy thinks he's the best Hog Rider player. <laughs> oh, he might not even have Hog Rider here. Probably going to be something else. Not really sure what, though. I just know this guy likes to play a lot of cycle decks, so it's probably going to be some type of cycle deck. Yeah, it's Goblin Drill. Oh, he messed up the Goblin Drill. But man, this will be such a bad matchup. Oh, he has Magic Archer. I just pray he doesn't have the version with a building and Magic Archer. Tornado, otherwise this will be close to impossible. But I think he probably will have a building. Either Tesla or Bomb Tower. <laughs> I don't know how the heck we're going to win here. This matchup used to be almost impossible even when Duchess was strong. And Duchess was so much better for us in this matchup than Princess Tower against the Goblin Drills. But yeah, now with Princess Tower, I don't know what the heck we're going to do. Maybe our bats will get some value here at least on offense. Yeah, he does have Bomb Tower. And he even has Defensive Drill if he ever needs it against our Hog Rider. Either Defensive Drill, Bomb Tower, or Tornado. <laughs> There's no way, no way we're ever going to catch him without a Hog Rider counter in Cycle. Alright, since he has no Valkyrie, I guess we can just go aggressive here with our Mini P.E.K.K.A. plus Ice Golem. I normally wouldn't do this, but I feel like this matchup is so bad that we just have to try to be as aggressive as possible and just hope that something random happens for us, otherwise we're just going to lose anyways. Nice to force out the Nato, but... I don't know, I feel like he's probably going to get his Bomb Tower down in time anyways. Yeah, he still does. The only way to win this really is to rock his cycle, but at the same time, if we rock his cycle, I feel like we just can't stop his Magic Archer, Tornado, Goblin Drill pushes at all. Maybe a nice Evil Bomber could do something too, but there's not too much for us to line up on, I feel like. Hopefully he Magic Archers into this. Yes, beautiful mini P.E.K.K.A. prediction. That was insane. Just going to log this all away. Should hit the Evo Skeletons a little bit too. Okay, beautiful place for us here. Yeah, the thing about Bridge Princess here is that if we go for it, he can always Magic Archer to line up on it and get damage on our tower, but we can always predict it with our Mini P.E.K.K.A. if we're smart enough to do so. Okay, nice. I'll just Mini P.E.K.K.A. Gonna take a few Goblin Stabs, though, unfortunately. He's probably gonna Magic Archer. Yeah, I'll just Princess. Can't really kill the Magic Archers at all, I feel like. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like everything is pretty bad about this matchup. I don't know. We're kind of surviving, though, but... It's just a matter of how do we get damage. I feel like we can't rock his cycle at all right now, otherwise we'll get punished so badly. He might try to Tornado too. Yeah, he does. Not too much damage, but still quite bad for us. Okay, I'll just rock it now. We're not going to be down too much Elixir, because he spent a lot himself. He might Magic Archer here on this. Yeah, not much we can do about it though, to be fair. Just going to Hog Rider. Oh, that's on our bomber? 
Oh, no, that's kind of bad for us, but at least the bomber does take out most of those. Just gonna bats here. We just rock it. Okay, wait, we could try to get an evil bomber on the tower. Might only get one hit, but I feel like it's still kind of worth it. Yeah, it's still kind of worth it. Wait, can that kill the magic archer? Yes, it does. Okay, that's a beautiful evil bomber. That's insane. Oh, no, the goblins. That's a lot of damage for him. We need three rockets to win still, which is going to be very tough to get them off. We have to try. There's no way we're getting a princess on tower or anything like that, though. I'm just going to ice golem kite this, I guess. Uh, Mini P.E.K.K.A. up high. Oh, no, it's already over. Oh, the Valkyrie! Yo, the Valkyrie just saved us. Princess? Wait, he has no login cycle. Wait, he has no log. Yo, it's on tower. It's on tower. One more, one more, one more. And then rocket. We actually just won this matchup. Thank you guys for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye.